a lot of times when I talk to natural health practitioners, uh, candida is something that comes up as kind of a root cause for a lot of different conditions. Explain what that is and if there, if that is kind of a link to a lot of things. So candida is basically uh, yeast. And um, yeast uh, do naturally live inside of our microbiome. So just because you have uh, you know, you have a stool culture that shows that there's some yeast doesn't necessarily mean that there's like a major problem. I think, you know, it, it's kind of become a little sensationalized, this whole candida subject, just like a lot of other things in health and nutrition. And uh, you kind of have to always look at how the person is uh, living their lifestyle and what things are going on that could potentially be contributory if there is a problem. As first is most important to actually identify is there actually candida or not because if there is and you're symptomatic and you have a problem then okay address it but just saying oh you know you have a little bit of bloating must be candida you must go on a candida protocol I mean that kind of is a little presumptive to me you know uh, I may be an integrative medicine practitioner and open-minded to a lot of integrative practices but I'm also you know trained as a medical doctor to help identify and you know understand what the actual problem is at the same time and use both worlds to kind of help the person from the best perspective and so you know to me just presuming you have a problem is is really not enough because presumptions can be wrong you know so if you can identify you know on a on a you know high level stool test that there's an overgrowth of candida then sure you can put the person on a candida type protocol and you know talk to them about you know probiotics talk to them about diet and you know different kinds of antimicrobial herbs that they could potentially try to help reduce symptoms um, and so there are different things that we can do but I guess the key concept is don't just always presume that you might have the problem. Try to find out if you actually do have the problem.